Hello everyone, my name is Saris and welcome to Rustic Flow. Today I'm going to be reacting to Norm Macdonald on drug. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Here we go. What's the hardest drug that Norm Macdonald's done? Uh, I guess, I guess love. <laughs> Where did you go? I had to go, uh, powder my nose. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've never seen a guest do that before. I had to go. You ran away during the commercial break. I and ran then... away, I freshened up, I powdered my freshened nose. Freshened up? And then I took a piss in the sink. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Why? Why do I ask? It's my fault. <laughs> you go to, uh, you start doing comedy, and you know what is interesting to me is we hear this about cocaine this. Cocaine is not working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the time. Let me tell you something, Jen. I'm from the time. I remember when pot was something you cooked your eggs in. Must have real. Yes. I remember. I, I remember when hash was something you. You were made out of corned beef. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I remember. I remember when. I remember when acid was something you you threw in a guy's face when he made a pass at your wife. <laughs> exactly. Who are those days? Well, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Exactly. I remember. I remember ecstasy when it was when it was just the feeling you had when you threw that vile acid in the guy's face. <laughs> so well, the, wouldn't you love to ask Dole like? when he was doing the commercial for, commercial for what they now call erectile dysfunction. Yeah. And, 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 I mean, how do you feel when you sit down and do that kind of a commercial? I mean, I'd be, it's gonna be a little embarrassing, you know? I don't feel that an old man should have a, a erectile function. Is <laughs> 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 that you? No, I'm just thinking, you know, because they have that Viagra thing out. Yeah. And the other day, you know, Bob Dole said, came right out and said. He was one of the first. Yeah. And, you know, you don't want to hear about Bob Dole's <laughs> cock, you know? <laughs> I mean, President Clinton's cock, Bob Dole's cock, what the hell? But mostly, an old man like that, an old man, you don't want him to have a super hard cock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? <laughs> Why? Because an old man, you want him to be, uh, got a pipe going, a newspaper, the dog at his feet there? Well, that, in some corners, is considered pipe. Uh oh <laughs> But now they're going to have to create some goddamn pill that, that makes women aroused at the sight of a fucking 70 year old dude with a super hard cock. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's Viagra. It's insane. And you know what? It's for impotent people. All right? It's for impotent guys. So get this. The, the, I read this. The, 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 the pill can make your cock hard for four hours. Right. So now, who has the four hour hard cock? The impotent guy. <laughs> the rest of us are fucked. Me and you. <laughs> me and you got our regular cocks. Meanwhile, fucking Spade is, uh, you know. He just was staying in his room. Oh, man. I didn't see it. I, didn't see it <laughs> I know you didn't. He brought it all around and then a vicious rip kick into his best friend's cock. Once there's too much cock talk, I try to just zone out for a minute until it goes back the other there, way. If there's too much cock talk, this guy has fevered nightmares all night. Dreams, I mean, like sweaty, fevered dreams from the, from the cock talk that's been all over his head. Cock, why, cock, why cock. Why bury me twice? He's killing me. No, he's a good man. Matty <laughs> raised it, all right. No, he's a good man. Who cares? After all that, that's, the, that's, that's the whiteout he puts on. <laughs> After he talks about you doing chin-ups on cock for 18 minutes. He's <laughs> no, he's a good guy. Just backstage, a lot of celebrities back there, man. I was talking to Jerry Jones, you know, the Cowboys owner, and uh, he's disappointed, obviously. Yeah. Well, he's a good guy, though, man. He's, he's talking about rebuilding the team, you know. And he told me, he says, we have to get back to what made us a championship team. Strippers and crack. <laughs> Messed up the rhythm, man. <laughs> and of course, it was very inspiring to see President Clinton up here on crutches making a speech. I mean, 
I thought that was just uh, amazing, you know. Uh, I mean, it's been difficult for the president. You know, he can't jog now, and uh, he needs help getting around. And he still, you know, he still uh, occasionally suffers great pain, you know. Uh, on the upside, you got your medical marijuana, so that's, uh, you know. <laughs> You must inhale, sir. It's the only way you're going to get better. It's... <laughs> the show has loosened up considerably. I noticed I was watching Oprah and uh, Dave talking about weed and booze. And... <laughs> I've never, I don't do either of those. The hardest drug I ever did, LSD. <laughs> And uh, I remember as a kid, I was like 16, and I remember they told, warned me, they said, hey, you got to be careful with that LSD on account of you can get a flashback. Ten years can go by, 20 years, 30 years, and a flashback will happen. So I thought, hey, that seems like a good deal. <laughs> you, know, you tell me I buy a drug for $5, I eat it, I get high, and then 20 years later, I get high again? <laughs> That's not the point. I like to stretch my drug dollar. The point is this. <laughs> 10 years have passed, 20 years have passed, 30 years have passed, and no flashbacks. What a jip that turned out to be. <laughs> Just more horse <laughs> by the big acid companies. That's all it is. I love no man. Uh, all right. I want to apologize for running out earlier. I don't know if anybody saw that. But, you know, these things happen in live TV, and uh, it reminds me, actually, of a, a maxim that uh, Christopher Plummer uh, told me many years ago. He said, before a live awards ceremony, do not eat a fistful of LSD. <laughs> Take that with you. <laughs> Now, Norm, I remember uh, years ago you told me that you were there for the birth of your son, and I always remember this, and you said that was the most exciting thing you had ever participated in. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. And, th and then what happened? I took crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, you, no, you didn't. <laughs> no. I didn't know what you were getting no, at. No, that's right. No, and then, and then you said a couple of weeks later you went skydiving. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that was what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 or hang gliding. Hang gliding. Uh -huh. Yeah, hang gliding. How, and how was that compared to the, the birth? <laughs> it was... This was a joke I did at one point? I, I have to do your act for you now? Is that what it's called? Like? <laughs> and you said that was much more exciting than the birth. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a whoops. <laughs> Veterinarians in Colorado have reported that marijuana use is on the rise amongst dogs. They say you'll know if your dog is too high if it starts making a really tall sandwich. <laughs> they um, like sweets better when they're mean? high. Yes, I don't know. Uh, in England, a woman was arrested for throwing a birthday party for her 16-year-old son that included marijuana, alcohol, and strippers. Now she's got even bigger problems. What to do for his 17th birthday? <laughs> Whatever. The street drug, Special K, has been found to be an excellent treatment for depression. Hmm. This according to the New England Journal of Gary Busey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dogs and humans love to run because it, it apparently gives them a natural high similar to that of marijuana, according to the University of Arizona. Wow. After running what are called cannabinoids, the chemical fan of marijuana that gives you a feeling of euphoria are higher in humans and dogs, and this occur encourages them to run again. To 7-Eleven for a Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> a Papa John's delivery man has been arrested for allegedly selling more than 40,000 in cocaine hidden in pizza boxes. Jesus. To undercover police officers. This raises an important question. Where is all that pizza that was supposed to go in those boxes? Can I have them to eat? <laughs> <laughs> Not a big fat guy. <laughs> a Florida University student was caught streaking on campus and apparently told police he was on acid and asked them to cut his dick off. 
Boy, these kids today are crazy. In my day, we didn't need drugs. We would just cut our own dicks. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need no fucking acid and shit. So when did you gain the weight? Uh, well, I fluctuated a lot throughout my life. But How did you gain it? Uh, eating and, and not exercising. Would that be your natural weight, or you, do you have to fight no, that I, all the time? Uh, well, yeah, I think I think I have to fight it to a degree. Yeah. And how did you how, how did you lose the weight? Uh, cocaine. 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 Mostly, yeah, cocaine and other drugs and uh, a very very serious depression. <laughs> that, that helps me a lot, Doctor Oz. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I think it is? I don't know. Do you think it's it's cocaine? Yep. Well, you're partly right. It's uh, cocaine, and it's, it's it's also a lot of baby laxative. <laughs> so you might a couple minutes. Yeah, I'll be be uh -huh. careful because it burns like hell when the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. uh huh. <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> so that was no McDonald's on drugs, and you know what? He sometimes leaves me speechless by a joke. Or the way he's telling a joke, it's just, it's just, I've, it's just so weird. The way he tells a joke is so different. It's unique. I haven't seen anybody tell a joke. I've seen people do an awkward joke, but that's not awkward. He's just telling a joke. Even when he's, uh, uh, what do you call him, uh, with David Letterman. David's trying to correct his own joke and he made a joke out of, Nowhere, he just said crystal meth, and he's like, No, that's not what you said. He said skydiving or hand gliding. He's like, Why the hell am I telling you about your own set? Like, it's so brilliant. It, because obviously, he's playing it as a joke, and he's playing, he's doing a joke within a joke within a joke, like, you know what I mean? And it's absolutely brilliant, man. You all know I love, uh, I love Noam, man. And it's just brilliant, man. And I'm not gonna stop doing Noam because I don't think I can. Because without Noam, it will be a boring, boring day. And I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment and leave any suggestions you guys have. And I'll see you guys next time.